Hey YouTube, this is Prince from DC Programmer. I welcome back to another exciting video in the Node.js, MongoDB and Express series. And in this video, we are going to talk about get request, post request, query string and URL encoded data. So as you can see, I have my server up and running. I have made a couple of changes in the last time you saw the video. They aren't very significant. I was expecting you guys already know about HTML, CSS. So I've just added a simple form and a little bit of CSS styling. The thing that we're concerned about in this video is the HTML form. So let's just go there. And as you can see here, I have an H1 tag, my form, that's okay. And in the form tag, I have three input attributes. Two of them are of the type text. They have a placeholder of email and username. And the third one is a submit with a value of add. Now, our server has no concern with these attributes. What our server cares about is an attribute, which is name. So for each input, we have to give it an attribute that's name. And this will have a value. Now this value is used on the server to fetch the data. So remember, whatever value you set here will be used on our server. So I will set name is equal to email and name is equal to username. And I don't need a name for my input value right now. The next thing that we're concerned about is the form tag. So it will have its own, its own attribute, which we care about. The first one is an action attribute, which means which particular URL we want to submit this form to. So right now I want to submit this form to slash login. And the next thing that we care about is the method. So we can have get or post. Now normally via an HTML form, we can submit form either in get or post. But when we will be creating APIs, you will see that we can even submit input request, delete request. Right now, let's just stay focused on the get and post request and what are they. So our action has been set to slash login and the method is get. So when someone makes a get request or basically when someone submits a form in the get request, the data is sent via query string. So whenever you will submit this particular form, the data will send in our URL and that will be a query string separated by simple URL encoding. While when someone makes a post request, the data is encoded and it's sent in the body. So let's first see how that happens. So I'll just go to index.js and I need a route app.get login. So I can say app.get slash login because this is the route where we are submitting our form. And in this particular route, we have obviously our request and response. And when somebody submits the data, we need to do something here. Now, fetching data from a get request is very simple. All that you have to do is to say const, let's say email, and I want to store my data in email. And that can be accessed from the request variables. We have a property that's query. And here we can enter the name that we set there. So either it could be name or it could be sorry email or username so since i set email i want email this will be my email and i'm just sending rest dot send so when somebody sends a request just send the email back to them let's save this let's go to our index.html and here our action is correct method is correct so it's always better to cross check because these things always cause issues now let's go back to our browser and we have refreshed it if i just enter some email and now if I click on add, you can see that I get particular email that I entered there, although it's not a complete email, but pay attention to the URL here, right here. So we have our localhost colon 8000 slash login where login is the route. And then this is our query string. So it just starts with a question mark and it's separated by this ampersand sign. And here we have what we can say as a key value pair, although they're not exactly key value pair. And this is encoded. So you can see that the at is changed via a percent 40 that's mod 40. If you will put a space that will be percent 20 and so on. So this is a very simple URL encoding that happens here. And this is how a query string is sent to the server. And this is how we retrieve the data. As you can see, we can simply use request.query.email or request.query.username. And now we can get the username here. So if I get, go back to the, our initial route, if I just leave the email blank, if I enter some username, and if we submit the form, you can see that we get the particular username that we just entered and in our URL string to the username has been set to this. Not just that if even if I change this right here, let's say prints hit enter. So that's what we get here. We get prints. So either people can send this via APIs or people can submit a form. But if you are coding an API or a form, this is how you can fetch that data and then work accordingly. A better way of fetching the data can be using destructuring. So you can do something like const. And then to restructure the data, we use this curly brackets. And now I can say email and username. And since the email and username are the property in our requested query, they will be simply set to the email and username variable, which we can use further. So this was all about get request. Now let's talk about post request. 
so post request 2 ain't very complicated let's just go back to our index.html we will leave everything as it is all that we have to change is our method so i'll just set it to post let's save this and now here you can see that we have a app.get so we have to change this to app.post so now we have app.post slash login and everything is simple but remember post data ain't set via query it's set via the body so we have to say request dot body let's go back to our initial route and here if i enter my email and some username and let's say i click on add you will see that we can get the property of email the reason why this happens is because since this data is encoded we have to parse the data on our server and to do that express gives us a very simple option and this is the reason why we use express you know if you want to parse url encoded form data or if you want to parse json data express already gives us a lot of these options by default so don't have to worry much about it all that we have to do is to say app dot use as a middleware we have to call express dot and there you can have here url encoded and here i want to give it an extra parameter that's extended i will set this to true now let's just save this let's go back to our server and again now if i enter an email and a username and you click on the add button you can see that you get the email and also the data isn't set sent via the url there is no query string right here and now we can basically get the data here so that's pretty much it from my side in this video where we have talked about url encoded data query string get request post request how to send requests from this uh, from our front end that's html file or some templating engine or some react engine although we are when we will be using react we will send request in json format and for that you have express.json but here you can use this method to get to find or you retrieve get data and post data and then we can work accordingly in our upcoming videos so till then keep coding keep loving keep sending and peace